I'm sure you will easily find the ingredients that you need for this recipe. First, we need 2 cups of ground mushroom. Any mushroom will do but I really like the taste of shiitake mushroom. Next, we need ground seitan. Just 2 cups of it, you just have to grind it and then add it to your mushroom. And then we need ground soy protein, 2 cups of it. Textured vegetable protein will do but if you don't like it, you can substitute chickpeas instead. And then you need your 2 tablespoons minced garlic. And then you just have to add 2 tablespoons of cane sugar. And then we need just half a tablespoon of sea salt. And then 2 tablespoons of your cane vinegar. And then we need about 4 tablespoons of your low salt soy sauce. And 4 tablespoons of tomato sauce. Now you need to add 1 teaspoon of ground black pepper. You can always add more if you want. And then mix all ingredients evenly. In this recipe, we use two types of binder. One is breadcrumbs, about a cup of it, and then just have to mix before you add another binder. Here, we used all-purpose flour, about a cup of it, or if you want, you can use oatmeal flour. Make sure you add all ingredients evenly before you even form your longanisa. With your bare hands, you can shape your longanisa to your liking. At this point, you can already fry your longanisa or bake it in the oven. Otherwise, you can also steam this for 20 minutes and then store it for later use. So now we have your healthy substitute for Filipino longanisa. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and please watch out for our next recipe video. You can always visit our website to learn more about culinary medicine and plant-based cooking.